Hey y'all, it's Diane with Y'all Craft One and My Old Barn Door. And here is the three ring binder journal that I told y'all in the last video um, that I was going to do a flip through of. So we're going to flip through. It's a three ring binder. No, one, two, three, four. Wait, this is five ring binder. <laughs> it's a five ring binder journal. <laughs> it measures 10 by 10 and it has uh about a two and three quarter inch spine so it's a really good size journal um i just have it layered up here with some vintage doily pieces that i got from cricut and then some little snippets of some doilies that i bought at a um like a thrift shop and um another little vintage doily it's just layered up i think there's one two three four five five little doilies vintage doilies on here and then you have let me just hold it up for you um i just made you a little cluster of um the purple and lavender floral uh, flowers then you have a cute little um tiny clothes pin safety pin here and then here's a bulb pin it has a sweet little key on it so then on the spine you have this beautiful beige colored um, vintage doily piece and then the back well all of the book I collaged and then once I collaged it then I covered uh, over with the um, the doily pieces and decorated it so that is the outside and so we'll just go inside we're going to do a real quick flip through because this book has 282 pages that doesn't include all the little pieces and envelopes and pockets and things like that so it's a very big journal um, so I'm just gonna flip through real quick you get a vintage playing card um, some scripture here this is a envelope made from children's book page and you have a little scripture in there this is from um, I don't remember what this is from I think I actually printed that myself I think I made that on my um, my Photoshop program have a cute little flower here lots of uh, laces and um, laces and fabrics on the edges of the pages this I just sewed in as a little tip in and it's several little pages that you can journal on you have stickers throughout the book I've got you some graph paper and some lined paper these are poems and quotes um, the original book was a recipe book, so I left some of the tabs in, and I did leave some of the original pages in. I wouldn't say it's per se like a, a it's not really a recipe themed book, but it does lean towards recipes. But it also has birds and florals. It's kind of like a, an anything goes type of journal like I did um, the last time. So um, this flips open, but I did... Um, I didn't make it a pocket because I wanted you to be able to see all the pretty birds, but I did go ahead and, and punch the hole there, so you can actually make that a pocket if you want to. And then inside this little fabric pocket, I've got a little journal card that I just decoupaged a napkin on and did some decorating on that with some um, glossy accents. Then you have a little tag here, super pretty little journal tag there with a doily on it. It says, Pray Without Ceasing. And then a little journaling card here that looks like a postcard. I love the fabrics in this book. You'll have lots of pages that have the little flowers on them. Lots of lined pages. Lots of pages that have the little fabric pieces just sewn on. There's some Monopoly money on the edge of that page. Here's one of the original recipes from the book. Actually, a couple of them. And then you just have a little scripture card here. There's some of the um, lace on the page, uh, on the page sides or sides of the pages. This was a, a play, uh, a greeting card, and so I just sewed it in as a pocket, and then you can flip it up and do some private journaling here, or put a picture, put you some little. Um, this is just like little notepad sheets. These are just extra little sheets that you can play with in your journal, and then a pretty little journaling card here. This was super cute. It had flowers on it, so I just added it in because I thought the teapot was so adorable. I'm going to flip pretty quickly. Some floral book pages. 
this is the pocket and it's just got some extra pieces of ledger paper stuffed in there cute little ticket journaling card this is another one of those little um, tags that I made um, I just glued the napkin on in that a beautiful little peacock and then back here is just another one of those little quote pages this is a floating pocket and I just clipped it on so you can put it anywhere in the book you want and you can decorate it I just put you a couple of little journaling cards in there and I, this is just like an extra piece from a tag that I made um, some extra little things that I thought you might want to decorate your pocket with or decorate throughout your journal with a little scripture here this is an envelope that I made from vintage book page I did some watercolor on it and then just um, created it into a little envelope there's nothing in the envelope but I just love the um, the colors in the envelope I had fun playing with my watercolors that day it's been a while since I've done that and it's been a while since I've made this journal it's been sitting on my shelf for the longest time and I forgot about it and the only thing I had left to do was to decorate the cover there's a Hermelinda tag on a paper clip that has some of my eyelash trim that's in my shop um, but it sat on a, a shelf for a long time and I completely forgot about it and the only thing I had left to do I'm sorry if you can hear my son talking he's on the phone hang on a second Sorry about that, guys. I had to run him back to his room. <laughs> He's in the kitchen digging around for something to eat. <laughs> so you have lots of vintage children's book pages. Love, love, love these pages. And it's not a pocket, but you can make it a pocket. But I just kind of clipped this together and put you some extra little pieces of some book pages that I had used. But I didn't want to, I couldn't cut it. I just couldn't cut it because it's so pretty. So here, I'm going to show you what I did. I just made it like a little little flip here. But isn't that pretty? I just couldn't bring myself to cut it. So I just did it that way. <laughs> you can cut it if you want to or you can make a pocket out of it. But I just thought it was too pretty to cut it. So I slide these back in here. And then close this back up or I'll have everything lost. How pretty. I love it. So this is a little pocket that I got from my friend Diane Huber. Hey Diane, thank you. Um, and I just stuffed you some pieces of the vintage wallpaper that I have in my shop. I just put you a couple of little pieces of that in there. There's your scripture. Here's some original um, uh, recipe pages from the book. And this is just a little Hermelinda tag I slid in there. Some children's writing paper. Some coffee dyed paper. Oops. This is some vintage children's music paper from like a school book and a Griffin paper. And then you have a big um, pocket here. I got this pocket from Renee at GD, GT Designs. Thank you so much, Renee. Um, but I loved it because it was quilted. So I made it into a pocket and then I just tucked in um, some of those uh, memo pages for journaling um, a vintage recipe card and then just a little sheet of lined paper for journaling on this is a vintage greeting card that I just saw thought was so stinking cute and I love how yellow it is but I love the bright colors on it so I added it and the envelope that goes with it just tucked under this little paper clip that has some sorry silk at the top on the other side of the paper clip, you'll get a scripture card. Some cream color graph paper. I love the cream color graph paper. Some really cool little craft book pages. Vintage music. This was a children's music book. Hermelinda tag. Some scripture. Love, love, love. Y'all know I love my little. Uh, Mother Goose Rhymes and Riddles and those vintage children's book pages. Here's um, a little envelope that I made. I just made it out of a vintage book page and I decoupaged a napkin on it. Turned out super cute. So I just tucked it on to the side of the page here with this little, um, it's not a bull clip, I guess it's a binder clip. 
you get lots of fold out pages so even though you um, even though there's 282 pages in here it can be so much more if you want to make it so much more <laughs> there's some scripture some more of the now these I left plain because I thought you might want to decorate them the way you want them decorated you can just up over them you can do mixed media you can do collage you can make pockets whatever you want to do on them but I thought I would leave those to your imagination some more my floral book pages this was from a super cute little book a children's book called thank you world and it had some really great little these you could actually cut and make into journal cards if you wanted to Under here, I just have a journal card and a receipt tucked under the paper clip. More scripture. These are from an Ideals magazine. And again, I couldn't cut them, so I just kind of folded them so that they would fit in the journal. Here's another one of those envelopes that I did with, um, I did some watercolor, and then I actually decoupaged the napkin onto the front of it. There's nothing in that envelope either, so... I like to, I try to leave the envelopes blank um, so that you can put your own memorabilia, memorabilia in there. This is just a really big journaling card. And then on the other side you have a scripture card. And fall is past, but you can take that page out <laughs> if you don't want that in there. Uh, a ruffle fabric on the side of this page. Whoops. I don't know where this came from. Oh, I had it tucked in there, into that little flower. And then this is from, um, this was from like a, um, uh, a Farm Bureau insurance book, but I loved the, uh, the recipe on it. So I added it in here. <laughs> this is a flip out. This is just an extra journaling sheet. Um, it, I used the other parts of it for something else. I can't remember what. But anyways, that's what I had left over. So I thought I would throw it in here um, as a little extra journaling page for you. There's a scripture. Some of these recipes look super yummy. This is an old vintage recipe from a different book. And then I just sewed on one of those little boho pieces that I got from Selena. Some fabric sewn here. A lot of the pages you'll see they have the little fabric tabs or um, paper tabs or whatever and I'll put a flower or something on them. Children's flashcard. This one has just a receipt sewn to the edge of it and you can actually tuck something in behind there. Trying to flip quickly now so that we don't get too long on our on our video, so just bear with me. There's some more fabric on this one. This one folds in. Then the fabric goes through to the other side. There's a lot of pages in here that I just sewed little snippets of fabric on, like that one. This is a little tip in, and it's just a couple of different little journaling cards that you can journal on. Major paper. This is a little cute little shaker, and it says Inspire with the little butterfly on there. And then on the other side, you have a game piece. Here's a children's book page envelope, and I don't think there's anything in it. It's just, I just put it in there for you to use in your journal and put your memorabilia in there. You'll see some of them I have with the lace and the like a plain card or a game piece or something, or maybe even a doily. Some little page tabs sewn on. Love, love these old vintage children's flashcards. Super cute. And then I made this tag with um, an old book page, and then I decoupaged a napkin on it and added the little ribbon and button topper at the top cute little flower down here with some fabric this is sewn onto the page it's one of my little quilt block calendar pieces one of my fairy pages 
So see, it's a conglomeration of lots of different stuff. And even though there is a lot of recipe stuff in here, it doesn't have to particularly be a recipe book. Inside this little pocket, I just stuffed you some, uh, a little journaling card, a little Joyce Meyer from my little Joyce Meyer calendars, just some good quotes. And, and then these are just extra pieces from book pages that I had used in here. I thought you might want to cut them up and use them to decorate in your journal. Some little children's playing cards. This is an old vintage um, from an old, 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 a very old children's book. And as you can see, um, you know, you don't want to fold the pages. I didn't even want to cut them. And actually, I guess it tore when I folded it to stick it under the um, uh, the paper clip. But this this little book is from like the early 1940s. So, but I thought I would add it in there for you to be able to use to decorate in your book with. You can make collages with it or little clusters or, or whatever. And inside this pocket, I stuffed you a bunch of extra little pieces of the cutoffs from the pages in the book. So you could use them to decorate in the book with. Some more fabric there, another page tab. Uh, that's a paper page tab there. Love, love, love. Aren't the birds so pretty? Another recipe page, and this has um, some of the lace up there. This was Cricut's, so I was super excited to get to use that. This is an Ideals Magazine book page. I literally stuffed this book with just everything you can imagine. There is lots and lots of stuff in this book. Here's a fabric pocket with a vintage flashcard, a little journaling card, and a vintage playing card. I love him. I think he's so adorable. And you can see the book's starting to get thick, but that's okay. You can take stuff out if you need, you know, to have more room. This is paper sewn to the side of the page. And then I love this bird page, so I have... A little piece of fabric sewn on the edge with a little butterfly sticker and that is the end of the journal so this journal is available in my Etsy shop now so go over and check it out if you have any questions or comments you can leave them in the comment box below don't forget to like and subscribe the, to the video and this is part of my Black Friday sale today. Well, it's called an early Black Friday sale because it's actually not Black Friday. It's Wednesday, but I have plans for Friday, so I couldn't do the sale on Friday. So I figured I'd give y'all an early Black Friday sale. So this is part of the early Black Friday sale um, that is going on in my shop for today only. So make sure you run over there and grab everything you want because you've got a shop-wide 10% off sale of anything over $50. Um, so in other words, if you wanted to buy trims and little embellishments and things like that, anything you purchase that totals uh, $50 or more, you get the 10% discount on. So, so yeah. So I thank you all for watching. I hope you have a most wonderful holiday season, and I hope that you have lots and lots and lots of things to be grateful for on Thanksgiving tomorrow. And I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving day. And I love you all real big. Thanks for watching. Big hugs.